Hey guys, it's me Leo back again with another video. So in this video we are doing something a bit different. So in this video we're going to be going over what third year is actually like. I'm going to try and answer questions that I would have had about what third year a medical school is actually like. I've just about like grasped what it's about and what goes on. Um, so I'm just going to share this with you guys. So before we get into the video, I've got my channel here. We're on 78 subscribers, we nearly hit 100 subs. So. Uh, if you do enjoy this video and you do want more like uni med school content be sure to subscribe We're trying to get to 100 subs by the next two weeks hopefully that's doable third year is very different to first and second year it's basically where the course becomes clinical so instead of learning in lecture theatres out of textbooks which you do, do you do still do a little bit it's more um, hands-on placement based in hospitals so in my uni that I go to, which is University of Manchester, you start the clinical part of the course in third year, but I believe in some some other unis you start this in fourth year. And also I just want to say what I'm saying is very specific to the uni I go to. I'm pretty sure there is some difference between different medical schools, so it might not be the same. Check your course handbook. So in the first and second year, we do something called PBL. It's basically a bunch of small case studies that guide you through the year or the semester. Lectures anatomy and uh, different sessions based around the PBL case usually. But there is also a little bit of clinical experience. I'm not sure how it's going to work this year, but we would have the occasional day out to one of the local hospitals where we'd spend the day or half the day on the ward. So you do get a little bit of clinical exposure, but not that much. For me, all through first and second year, maybe even up until like a few weeks ago, I didn't really know what to expect from third year. So in my first year, I got told that I was going to go to Preston Hospital, which is the hospital at the moment. So I'm living in Preston at the moment. And you get told that you have to go and move near the hospital or you'll be in the hospital most of the time. But I didn't know what else. I was like, are there still lectures? How does the learning work? It's taken me until this point to sort of grasp what's happening and what kind of goes on. The real question, what is third year medical school actually like? So, it is actually placement based. How much time do I spend on the wards? At this hospital we basically get a bit of a say in the uh, hours that we're in hospital and we try and work them around like other learning on our timetable. And I finished my timetable for the first rotation which is up until like early December. So I finished that uh, last Wednesday. It took quite a while but so I've got my timetable for the next few weeks sorted and I'm going to kind of talk through what is on that timetable and what kind of happens. I started back at uni about two weeks ago, so the first four weeks I believe, not a lot of on ward time, do a lot of practical skills, so I had one the other day where we were taking, um, using the BM machine, which is, stands for Boringer Manorum, which I believe is the guy who probably invented it. Basically it's just taking blood glucose, how to approach taking like a finger prick of the patient, taking a little bit of blood, putting it on the machine, getting a reading, and like where to document it and stuff. I'm not sure if it's for all hospitals, but this hospital we get a barcode that we need to scan um, before we take um, a reading of someone's blood glucose, so we scan it with the machine. So it's just a session going through how to do that. So before each of the sessions we have like an online, a bit of online content that we need to go over before we turn up. Um, yeah, so that was the uh, first major skill session that I had. For the next few weeks I've got a few placements, I believe I've got one uh, three or four hour placement next week. Same for the week after, maybe two placements. Yeah. A lot of these clinical skill sessions where we go in and we do one of the skills and we basically get signed off saying we're competent enough to perform it under the supervision of someone who's competent like a nurse or doctor. So we have to be supervised when we do it but when I start my true rotation there are a number of things I need to get signed off um, and I believe that's one of them. So this is basically just saying I sort of know what I'm doing as long as I'm supervised doing it. And with more practice on real patients, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get like proper excellent at doing it. So that's sort of how that works. I'm just rambling. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't script a video. I'm just talking off the top of my head. So my first rotation starts about mid-October and I'm on endocrinology. I think there's slightly less contact hours this year. I may be wrong, but I think because I'm not allowed to have placements in the clinic and placements on ward in the same week. So we have to have, I have a clinic week, a ward week, clinic week, um, but it's all based around endocrinology. One of my clinics is a diabetic foot clinic. So basically there is actually quite a lot of in-hospital teaching, 
in the hospital, hands on, getting stuff signed off. So in the first two years, we had something called PBL, the problem based learning. There's sort of a slightly different version of that that goes on each week throughout third year. It's called the theme case discussion. I've not yet had my first session, so I may be getting some of this wrong, but so the way I see it is it's quite similar to PBL, except for they give you a lot more of the information. There's a lot less time going out and trying to find the information. They sort of upload OneMed, which is the website we use, a lot of the content that we need for that week. So we kind of just work our way through it. So I've looked at the first week one and it's called chest pain. There's quite a lot of content. So in PBL, there was an open case at the beginning of the week and a closed case at the end of the week. For this, there's only a closed case at the end of the week. Yeah, so you basically get given a slightly different scenario where the content applies that you've learned that week and you have to apply it to a different case. So that's similar to what would happen in the real world as a doctor. So in that respect, it's good. I think it's definitely more difficult. I'll have to tell you about it when I have my first session. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe for that. <laughs> okay, so recap, so we've got blocks. So I have five blocks in each block. So my first block is endocrinology I have about 10 hours of in-hospital teaching as well as bedside teaching sessions scheduled I also have theme case discussion where we have the content that we need to learn and there are also some skill sessions in there so I think we've I've got, I've got I think I've got like an ECG session at some point we also have a PP something called PPD which we need to get signed off at the end of the year and have that we need to have submitted and needs to be satisfactory uh, it's the same, You probably, we had this in first and second year, it's just um, reflective essays basically and um, tables with all the skills and keeping our skills up to date. So and I think that's quite similar to second and first year. Uh, we also have something called APEP, which PEP last year was a, like a small dissertation of about 5,000 words. Some topic that we got given, I think APEP, which is similar to PEP, I think there is a dissertation in there somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We get given that at the end of the year, so I don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, but that's quite a lot of effort. Yeah, and I think stuff is going to be added to my timetable, but this is kind of... I'm two weeks into my third year. I'm kind of just trying to make I'm trying to make the video for myself when I was in first or second year about what to expect for third year, because it is quite a big mystery when you're... Yeah, so hopefully now third year sort of makes a little bit more sense. This is third year at medical school. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's try and get this video to 15 likes and I'll see you guys in my next video.